WD-40 is one of those products that most of us have used and most of us probably have a can of this stuff in our shop. The question that a lot of you have asked me to test though is whether WD-40 could be used as a suitable substitute for motor oil. So today what we're going to do is swap out the engine oil in this small engine with WD-40 and we're going to run it for a solid hour, sometimes under a load, to see how this engine performs. Is this engine going to survive an hour or will the engine self-destruct? I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I do know we have a small engine and a couple cans of WD-40, so let's get this project underway. So what exactly is in WD-40? 45 to 50 percent is LVP aliphatic hydrocarbons, 20, less than 25 percent is aliphatic hydrocarbons, less than 25 percent petroleum-based oil, non-hazardous ingredients less than 10 percent, and then 2 to 3 percent carbon dioxide. Now there's a lot of different cast numbers. If you're really interested in knowing about the ingredients, I highly recommend just looking up these cast numbers online and you can find out a lot more information. So how is WD-40 going to do inside the engine when the engine gets hot? The boiling point in range is 361 to 369 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 183 to 187 degrees Celsius. So we should not have a problem with the crankcase temperatures with WD-40. So just how well does WD-40 lubricate? One way to determine this is to use a lubricity tester. Now this device, the way it works is I insert a little bearing inside the bearing holder and this race is going to spin at 800 RPMs. And when I apply downward force pressure, on this race, it's going to cause a lot of damage if the film strength of the product is poor. So we're going to find out real soon just how well WD-40 does regarding film strength compared to regular motor oil. Now during the testing, I'm not going to be touching this device at all because in doing so, that would tamper with the results and cause a problem. I previously tested 10W30 oil, and that's the bearing on the left. The bearing on the right is WD-40. As you can see, there's a lot more damage to the WD-40 bearing than conventional 10W30. I've got some 10W30 and some WD-40 inside this freezer where it's 15 below zero Fahrenheit. So what I'm going to do now is see how this oil and WD-40 flows when it's really cold. So this time of year, there's not a lot of grass to mow, so in order to apply a load to the engine, I'll be using the engine brake. So when the lever on the handlebars is released, the brake is applied. This is designed to bring the engine to a sudden stop. So this will allow the engine to work under a significant load, and we'll see if WD-40 is up to the task. So I want this engine to run as hot as possible, so I'm not going to put the cover back on this engine, because that cover allows these cooling fins to blow air across the cylinder head, allowing the engine to stay cool. So we're going to try to get this engine to warm up quite a bit, given the fact that the weather is pretty cool right now.
As you can see, the WD-40 is barely on the tip of this dipstick. Before, when I had filled it up with WD-40, it was actually slightly above the top hash mark. Well, the engine survived the WD-40 test, but it wasn't pretty. The engine ran really hot, somewhere around 500 degrees Fahrenheit on the cylinder head when the engine was under load. Also, there was a lot of blow-by. As you notice, next to the carburetor is the crankcase ventilation tube, and there's a lot of smoke blowing out of that, an indicator of a lot of blow-by. Also, the level of WD-40 in the crankcase dropped by quite a bit. It was just barely touching the dipstick by the time this test was over with. And finally, there was a 5 PSI drop regarding the compression test. So all in all, the engine did survive, but it wasn't pretty, so I do not recommend using WD-40 in any sort of engine unless it's an extreme emergency and you have to do it. Just want to say thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Please take care, and I look forward to seeing you next time.